What's up, Muscle & Strength? This is IPB Pro Ian Valier. Uh, we're gonna train some chest today. We're here at New Body Dimensions in Ottawa. So, you know, I like to warm up, kind of move into the heavier weights as fast as I can. We're still feeling adequately warmed up, so. Um, yeah, after three, we'll see how we feel. I do two sets that are maximum intensity. I'll do one with maximal load, kind of now like seven to 10 range. Then I'll back off the weight to get a little more volume in or keep the volume the same because I've obviously exhausted some energy on that first set, so. This is usually a movement that I would say for later in a workout. This is more isolated, especially using the cables too. But I find after doing that compound, you know, something like the incline press, something like this to really squeeze and get some blood in there after that, feels really good. Uh, and then we'll move on to some more pressing, but I'll generally do it with either of these. Um, if there's a good setup, like this is a good gym because it's not very busy. When you're trying to take like full cable units like this in a more busy gym, uh, I would probably stick with like an incline dumbbell fly. It's a little easier to, to do. Um, but in a place like this where it's quiet, I, I'll, I like to do it. This one, I have the opportunity to do so. That's what's called a rest pause technique. So what we did essentially, I guess similar in concept in an intensifier to like a drop set, the load remains the same. So you keep to work with the, the most load possible for the longest duration. So as a drop set, when you take that break, you'd lower the load to keep the reps the same. This we might get a little less reps every time, but we're maintaining that heavier load, so. If I do 10 reps of this, which is sub-maximal, I can e easily do five, five plates with this for seven to 10 reps, who knows. If I go and do 10 reps with this, 12 reps, whatever, I've now exhausted myself and taken away reps from my maximal set. So instead, I'll just prime my muscle, feel the weight, and increase the load. So I mean, I did two plates, or three plates, four plates, felt the weight, felt I could go heavier, and I'll work up to the max weight without exhausting myself in the least. So we'll get to five, I'm now fresh. I haven't wasted, you know, energy doing four plates, three plates of sets of 10, 12 that are gonna take away energy from that maximal set. And now I might get one rep, two extra reps out of that five plates. And I think two reps out of five plates is gonna yield a lot more than doing a couple of warm up sets. Once I've done the maximal load I can for the maximum amount of reps, which I did, I did five plates for as many reps as I could, and I didn't waste any energy prior to that, that, that set's done. You know, I'm done with that weight. I mean, all I'm gonna get out of that is that. If I try and do five again, what, I might get four reps, five reps. So we'll lower it so that the volume's not too low, and we'll get another 
you know, keep the form good, keep the execution good, so I'm getting a good contraction on those. You know, get a little higher, keep it in that same rep range, that, you know, seven to 12 range. the pronation you know and that you're still getting that fly motion but I'm not letting my arms like extend way out and just putting extra strain on my biceps so that way I get to work with a little bit more load I was inclining four plates but my chest wasn't growing I was flat benching five plates, but my chest wasn't growing. You know, even though it was strong from a strength weight moving perspective, you know, it, my chest didn't reflect that in terms of how it looked. So, you know, I kind of had to go back to the drawing board and, and change my execution of the movements and then work back up to the loads that I was used to working with that proper execution. So, you know, I think the biggest exercise wise though is definitely with the primary focus on the incline movement. So, you know, the incline press, the incline flies, um, you know, cause I mean, not many people lack lower chest. You see lots of guys and they got under chest, but it's that roundness, that top to bottom fullness and roundness that I think most guys are lacking. It almost simulates like a locked in dumbbell fly. So I mean, you're moving through a, a non-locked plane range of motion. So you're not locked in like a barbell where you're remaining in the same vertical plane like that. You know, you're getting that inward contraction, which is really good for any of the chest movements, but you're locked in a machine setting. So it's really good though. You get a really nice contraction and you don't need much weight for it. And it's adjustable. You can go decline, incline flat. do a dip uh, so I mean a dip is a movement you can really do both for chest or for tricep training um, really the only difference between the two for me is the angle at which you're you're leaning so if you want to do focus more on the triceps I try and stay more upright keep the elbows tucked in the side and you're driving through the triceps keeping your weight over the elbow over the tricep if you want to do it for your chest you're leaning forward a bit putting that over the chest and trying to squeeze your elbows into your chest and give it more of a lower chest lower pec contraction Thanks for watching. That was my chest workout. Be sure to subscribe below.